this is Tai Chi time, and obviously every evening is one way to release the stress out, get the sweat out. And uh, this is just a very short 10 minutes. Again, I'm a beginner, so just saw this master by the name of David Wong, and he's got a set of Tai Chi following the water movement. Follow me, and let's sweat it out. This is called hugging the tree. In the video here, you can hear me. So holding the stance, the knees bend a little bit. And of course, taking your time. Next variation, rise and fall. Quite important. Breathing through your nose, exhale slowly, and this is the rise and fall. This movement is called heaven and earth. Following the video. Heaven and Earth. Simple exercises, every day. Makes you sweat. I kind of like the Tai Chi for their graceful movement, especially for senior citizens. Not to overexert, pull the muscle, and then you're gonna land in the hospital bed. So, you guys. Wants to know more. Just gonna share the link with you. Have an earth. Thumbs up. Down. By the side. Move all the way down. Rise up. We have now paddled the boat. from the video of this master here is to take your time concentrate and this is the water variation of the Tai Chi and from what I've read there are thousands of variation so pick the one you're comfortable with handling the boat the water this movement is exactly what you will do when you need to toss the water and you follow the movement of actually tossing water right into the air that reminds you when you're out in the sea, playing with your friends, your family. I'm 
doing the voiceover as the video has got no vocal instructions but it's just following the movement of the master here next we have the backstroke for those swimmers this should be easy enough reaching all the way behind stretching going back those who know how to swim this is called the backstroke movement stretch all the way back Splash the water. It is not talking about speed, but the graceful moment that you break in. And this is splashing. The water. The knees got to be arched and stretch all the way and then on the other side. Push behind, splash. Simple enough. The moment you start doing it, stretching your arms, your shoulders way back, you understand what I mean. Good stretch out. So, this is splashing the water. I'm just following the video to see what comes next. Doing this for the last couple of weeks. So, feels good. Next variation, the ocean waves. And here we do is two arms pushing the waves. Let the wave flow back. Push it all the way up, stretching your legs. And this is called ocean waves. The accompanying music is pretty, pretty therapeutic. I doubt you can hear from here. The background is actually the radio music from on Light FM. I'm already sweating out. So this is on your left foot. And then you change it to your right. Ocean waves. The momentum of the waves as it splashes onto the shore and the waves kind of reeling back into the ocean. I'm putting it on video just to see whether the position is correct or not. So far so good, I think. My CP is quite pleased. And now we have the roll forward. Arching your knees, bring it down. And it's rowing the boat. Just like what we learned in nursery rhyme. Row, row, row your boat. And this is the movement. 
for rowing the boat. Pull it all the way, bending your knees at the right moment. Okay. And this is the backward row. Of a good stretch from the forward row. This is the back rowing, ensuring all your shoulder muscles, your knees, your thighs get that amount of stretching that it needs. And this is towards the end. And this is called balancing the chi. Almost towards the end. Simple movements. In the bottom part. And this one exactly what the video shows. And I think this is having the pain. I don't feel like a zombie. Alright. That comes to the end. I hope you need the exercise. This staying home is really having a heavy toll on all of this. So thank you for watching.